I've spent more on a coffee than this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super lockdown haul, including clothes, jewellery, beauty, food, everything you could want in lockdown to keep you sane. Well, it's kept me sane, sort of, anyway. I thought I wasn't gonna spend much money in lockdown. Turns out I was wrong. I've quite enjoyed doing some little bits of online shopping here and there. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you some things that I've bought and explain whether I like them or not, how much they were, blah -de blah -de blah. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyway, let's just get started. Clothes are just a girl's best friend. So the first thing was a Nasty Girl order and I got this cord set which is black flares. They're so, so comfy. I wear them all the time, especially for drama lessons. Um, they're such stretchy material. They're a little bit see-through but not too bad. Um, and they came with a crop top which is actually in the wash but I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. So anyway, super, super comfy and that cord set was £18.90 which is... Okay, yeah, it's it's a reasonable price for a co set actually, um, especially because I mix and match them completely. I wear these with jumpers, I wear the top with different jeans and bottoms. So I do think that was a really good purchase. I don't know if they still sell it on Nasty Gal because that was now in like April, but that was a good purchase. Next from Nasty Gal, I got this green skirt which actually featured in my video that was my uh, favourite spring summer outfits. And this was also £18.90, obviously did realise at the time it was, but when I was looking back yesterday at what I'd bought, I completely forgot I'd spent nearly £20 on this skirt, and I do not think this is worth nearly £20. If you can see, this bit should be folded in, and it just keeps peeling out like that, and that's really annoying. But it's really, really cute, the only problem is, is I just don't think the quality is quite there with this band. Um, for £18.90 you, I think you expect a bit more than that really but I love the colour, I love the material, it's thick, it's good material and yeah it's just quite a classy skirt and you can also, it can be daytime or nighttime depending on what you match it with which I explained back in my uh, fashion Faith Outfits video, so that's Nasty Gal. If you've been subscribed and watched some of my older videos you'll know that my 21st birthday was at the start of lockdown, <laughs> cry. And I bought this outfit for it, which is this tie-dye jumpsuit. So it's a white denim with blue and red tie-dye. Kind of looks like I've just been painting something. Um, but this, oh my god, I love it. It's one of those things, though, that you can't wear very often because, like, it's quite obvious. It's quite a statement thing. Um, but for a birthday outfit, it was so nice. And also, by the end of the day, when it, I was boiling, I ended up tying it around my waist and just having a crop top on, which also looked really cool. So, yeah, I really like this. It's quite expensive for something that I probably won't wear that often. I mean, £45 is not that bad, but when you're a student and you've got budgeting systems going on, it's quite a lot. However, great fit. Such thick denim. Like, so, so good. Yeah, and it fits me perfectly, which is always what I want. Actually it was a little bit big but that's kind of nice for a jumpsuit. It's nice and baggy. So that was Pretty Little Thing and I got this in a size 12 but I do think tie-dye might go out of fashion at some point. That's the only issue. However I did, I bought something else that's tie-dye too. The next thing I bought after that was in fact something that still hasn't arrived yet. <sighs> I'm really annoyed. Basically, James Charles released his merch on the 14th of May. So when it was released, I completely forgot to check out the website. And then I went on like an hour later and it had already sold out. So I got the like next supply. And I still haven't received it and that was the 14th of May. And I know that it's, at the moment, it's travelling to England because I know that it's left America. So I'm hoping it comes soon. I will probably be wearing it a lot. I'll insert a picture here. It's the like candy floss sort of colours tie-dye jumper. 
I literally live in hoodies and jumpers anyway, so I'm going to get my use out of it. It was quite expensive, but I think that's just because it's James Charles. It ended up being like £50, which is a lot for a hoodie. But I know how much I wear hoodies, and I'll definitely get my use out of it. And I think the colours are really nice. The only problem is tie-dye is probably going to go out of fashion, because it was in fashion when I was like 13, and then it went out of fashion for ages, and now it's back again somehow it just comes in and out all the time. I was looking at loads of like fashion ideas and I just want to mix up my wardrobe a bit. I've always worn skinny jeans except these ones. Like these are quite nice baggy ones and I've got one other pair that are like straight leg but I really wanted to get some like overly baggy ones because I just think they're really in fashion at the minute and I've also never owned a pair of white jeans. Can you believe it? So I went on Pretty Little Thing and I found these which I'm in love with. So they're really nice. They've got ripped detailing down them. They've even got a handle so I can be carried around by my leg. <laughs> but anyway, I was so surprised because I got these in my normal size and then I had to size down, which I was chuffed about. I don't know if it's the jeans or whether it's just because my body's changed shape. I've been doing a lot of exercise over lockdown. But however, I really love it. They're so like tight fitting around the waist. Um, but then they just look so nice on and oh, I'm just so excited to wear these. You have no idea. I'm going to wear them um, tomorrow <laughs> for my little end of year celebration with my friends. You can just pair them with a little crop top and then in winter you can pair it with like a woolly jumper and it's still going to look sick. So these were, I think they were £28 and then I got a discount so they were like £25 which is great. So check out the PLT jeans, they are fabulous. The next thing I got was also about two weeks ago, I can't really remember when it was, but if you watch a lot of YouTube you might know Sid and Elle, and oh, I just love Sid and Elle. If you also know me very well you'll know that I love Sid and Elle and I kind of talk about them all the time. Sid posted these Adidas shorts and I literally fell in love with them. I was like, I need something like that, I don't have any sort of comfy shorts that are sporty but also casual that I could dress up, dress down for summer and these were I think £28 from JD Sport and they I think they run in and out of stock all the time um, and they come in loads and loads of different colours but I just really wanted black, it goes with everything and these are so comfy, I've literally not stopped wearing them since I got them this band is so stretchy, they're so flattering and yeah, little pocket on the back, you know little pockets in the side, just beautiful, these are just fabulous, I haven't done workout in them but I've been on like dog walks in them, just worn them around the house, worn to see my friends, so these are a staple I think for this summer, I know some people have got them in like 10 different colours, adidas shorts, check. <laughs> now we get to the biggest order that I've done during lockdown and that was a Shein order, I still didn't even buy that much stuff because I'm trying to be stingy, like while I'm locked down there's no point spending too much money. Um, however, I just kept seeing all these really cute things on adverts and stuff so I was like I just need to have a quick look on Shein. First off we've got this bikini and you may have seen it on the Shein website, this bikini was like £7.99, I just can't believe how cheap that is. It's so nice and it fits me quite well actually, it's a little bit small but this is a size large, <laughs> you wouldn't believe that's a size large would you? Um, the Shein sizes are a bit questionable but I think once you know your size in the Shein things then it's fine and I did two orders from Shein last summer when I went travelling and I needed loads of like little bits and bobs so I knew that I'd be definitely a size large in most things. The colour combination is just so nice, this style is amazing. I've not had a sort of triangle tie-up style in a while. And these are the bottoms, so I think you can see from this that I may not wear them on family holidays because they kind of like scrunch. So for example that bit like scrunches up your bum. Uh, but you can stretch them out, it just doesn't fit as nicely when I did that. Um, and then it's just got the tie detailing on the side so they'll fit sort of to how your body shape is and I really like that about bikinis. And then also, I've never really had like a string high-waisted one. I've always had those like big panty ones that suck your whole belly in. But this looked really nice with the string sort of pulled high-waisted. So I really do recommend this bikini. And the white bits didn't seem see-through. I mean, okay, they might go see-through eventually. Um, but I ordered a white sort of one from them last year and it was fine. 
Next is this blue skirt. You've probably seen everyone and their nan with this skirt at the moment. Comes in loads of different colours on Shein. I got this as well in a size large. Fits me perfectly around the waist. It's a little bit baggy like around my legs but it's fine. Um, and it's got a zip at the back so it's not stretchy. So if it doesn't fit then send it back. And I just think it's so, so cute. I'm loving light blue at the moment. I painted my nails light blue to match this um, because I really want to wear it this week I think. And it's just so cute. I haven't bought a new skirt in ages. And I just love it so much. It's so cute. It makes me feel really girly. So yeah, that's a, a thumbs up from me. And it's not actually see-through, which I thought it would be. It's quite thin material, but it's not see-through. Then to pair with that, I got this. I mean, obviously I wear it with other things as well. So this is just a cardigan. I'm loving the cardigan trend at the moment, but I don't really have many. And I just thought this one was so cute. So it's long sleeve and it's cropped. And then it's got this, I think it's called lettuce, I don't really know what it's called, where it's like wavy at the sleeves and the hems. And I got this in a size large. And then just do the buttons up. When I try it on, I tried to do it with lots of different button combinations, but I think just doing one button works the best. You just have to have the right underwear for that. And I'm just so excited to wear these two together. Oh, it's going to look so cute. And I've got some accessories to show you that will go go far. And lastly, from the clothes from Shein, I got another cardigan top. This one, it looks a bit grannyish when it's not on, to be honest. Um, this is a sort of lilac-y pink colour, and I got this one in an extra large because when I was ordering it, I was like, I don't want the one button situation to make it look like it just doesn't fit me. So I wanted to get it definitely oversized. I mean, it's still not that oversized, and it's an extra large, so <laughs> that just shows you the sizing. Um, and this is short sleeve, so cute. I'm really excited to wear this with the white jeans. That's what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I've spent more on a coffee than this. That's ridiculous. Really happy with the Shein clothes that I got. And that was it for the Shein clothes today. Now we're going to move on to accessories. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen I've been posting a lot of photos in this certain brand of jewellery. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm just so obsessed with it. So the company is called Amelia Hubbard Jewellery and so I am promoting for her. I've got a discount code. It's Kaylee Capitals 25 and that gets you 25% off. I don't get any sort of money from doing that. So at the start of lockdown, she was selling these NHS... I don't know if she's still selling them actually. I should check on the website. Um, NHS choker bead necklaces and then all her profits were going to NHS charities and I just love this. It's going to look so cool when it's sunny and I'm outside, like a plain white outfit, and this will be quite a nice statement. At the start of lockdown as well, I bought these earrings. These earrings are the Zoe earrings, um, and I actually am friends with Zoe, who they're named after. They're so, so cute. I love the little pink gems, and these just, like, they look so classy, and they look so expensive, and they're really, really affordable. I bought this one as well at the start of lockdown. And it's so cute, it's got like blue big gems and little beads. And I just think these colours are so in this summer, along with the blue outfits and everything. Blue and white are so in this summer. We've got the Greek Santorini vibes, so loving this. I'm actually obsessed. So these earrings are pink beads with shells. I love shells. Last summer I lived in my shell necklace and I'm just obsessed and so to match those I got her shell necklace with the pink thread I didn't even think about the fact that you can get these with different coloured threads because I've got one with black thread and I thought Do you know what I'm gonna spice it up get the pink thread it matches the pink on the earrings I wear a lot of pink as you can see I like pink and this just looks so so cute all together so beachy so summery and I'm obsessed with those and then I got the next three pieces all from the same sort of collection of hers and I just love it. It's got this um, eye bead. I think it's called a Turkish eye. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's the necklace and then I got the matching bracelet and then the anklet is slightly different with lots of the eye beads and more black and blue in there as well. And they all fit so nicely. They're so strong and they've just got these little metal clasps to um, shut them and open them. And it's just such great quality and it's a local business and so, so affordable and I just actually love these pieces. So yes, go check out the website 
I will link it down below. I'll put my code in the description box, so if you want to go and check them out, you can get 25% off. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. They also arrive so quickly. She's so on it with the packaging and posting, so you do get your pieces very, very quickly, especially when they're all handmade like you'd expect it to take weeks, literally comes in days. Still with accessories, I got a couple of pieces from Shein, which I just kind of got things that are in trend from Shein because I don't want to spend loads and loads of money on things that are in trend at the moment because who knows how long they're gonna be in trend for. So I got this butterfly choker, it looks so cute on and it's just gold. It will probably wear very easily with perfume on and things like that. Same with this other necklace which is just one of these padlock necklaces with a thick chain but these paired together just look so nice and I think they're going to look so cool with my new little outfits that I've got going on over there and lastly on my accessories I have this beautiful scrunchie oh my god I'm just obsessed with it I'm just so obsessed with it I will also link her Instagram website down below um, it's actually someone I know called Ellie and I've seen a couple of her tops that she's made and they're just gorgeous so she hand makes these prints and prints them onto the silk fabric and makes the scrunchies and again the blue and white it's so in fashion this summer so if you haven't already got on it get on it these scrunchies are just so cute really great quality I mean I've got a lot of hair as you can see and I always wear scrunchies um, and this is so good quality the silk is so nice on your hair it doesn't like pull your hair or anything and I just love these little dangly bits because I've never had a scrunchie that has that and they just really add something to your ponytail if you've got your hair up with a ponytail and I'm definitely going to be buying more of these and I can't wait for her clothes to be released because I'm going to be straight on that. So this scrunchie was 5 99 with £1 delivery which is so affordable when you think it's handmade, hand printed and it's such great quality and it's so gorgeous you will not find a scrunchie that's got this much detail on it and it's such great quality so that that's a winner from me. Now I'm going to move on to sort of beauty. At the start of lockdown, my skin was atrocious. I've been struggling with acne for years and nothing's really been working. I've been on medication, da 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 Nothing's really been working. I am going to do a whole video about this soon, probably. Hopefully in the next month or so. Um, I'm just waiting until my skin has fully cleared up. It's cleared up a lot but it's not fully cleared up so I don't want to promote fully any products or routines that I've been doing until I know for sure that it's definitely that that's been the helping factor. But I will show you the products that I've bought. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about my sort of routine with them or anything like that because I'm going to save that for the skincare video. I got this Caffeine 5% EGCG solution. I also got this Nias. Cinnamide 10% and zinc 1% solution. So this one's supposed to be really good for having like big red bags and things like that. That's supposed to really help the caffeine in it. It's supposed to sort of wake your skin up, I guess. And this one, the niacinamide, however you say it, is supposed to be really good for getting rid of acne and blemishes because it, it gets rid of the bacteria uh, under the skin. And then as well as that, I got the natural moisturising factors and Hydronic Acid Moisturiser. This is really soft on your skin. It's so lovely. The Ordinary is very scientific. There's lots of videos about it on YouTube, so I would highly recommend researching it before you buy the products. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'll go into a lot of detail about these sorts of things in my skin journey video, which will be coming in the next month or two, hopefully. The prices for these, I think these ones were £5 each and this was like maybe six or seven. Um, I actually got them from Pretty Little Thing because I have next day delivery, so they come really quickly. So the next thing I got that's sort of beauty healthcare-ish is, <laughs> not healthcare, I don't know why I said healthcare, is the dye brow. Did it last night, if you can tell, probably not. It's the Ilior London, I get it in black, last six weeks, it's so good, so easy, it literally takes five minutes and it's just so good. So highly recommend this. I think it's usually about £7. I got it off Amazon. I usually just get it in boots, but when we're on lockdown, I just got it online. And lastly, I got, oh, I think I mentioned, yeah, I did. I mentioned this in a vlog, but I was just looking at my hair a lot, like my hairline. It sounds ridiculous, really, but I was just looking at my hairline a lot. And I just hate having like really thin baby hairs around uh, my hairline. So I was researching it and I ended up buying this, which is the Ceroxyl Stemo... 
I don't know, denser hair. If you just type in Siroxa, it comes up. It's by L'Oreal Professional, and this was like £22 from Amazon, which is expensive, and I don't even know if it's done anything different, and I've used nearly half of it already, and I've hard, I feel like I've hardly used it, uh, because I've got a lot of hair. I've been using like quite a lot every time. I've been using a little bit more than it says to use. <laughs> So who knows if it's working, I'm going to keep using it and when I finish the bottle I'll tell you if it's worked, but it smells so good, it's literally like a perfume in your head. But yeah, hopefully this works, it was quite expensive for what it is, but hopefully it works. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I've been getting Grey's Box delivery subscription because I absolutely love Grey's, but I get them every two weeks on a Thursday and yeah, it just I just love Grey's and I thought, well it's about £4 every two weeks and then it's like snacks that I can just call my own. No one else can have them in the house because they're mine. So I quite like that. And you can pick, like you can rate them on the website for what's your favourite um, and least favourite sort of things so that you get nice stuff that you like really. So I think that ties up this video. I've probably waffled on for ages and yeah if you've got any questions about any of the products then let me know i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i have so many videos coming your way this summer i hope you have a really 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 lovely wednesday if you're watching this on wednesday and i will see you guys in the next video bye